Hey, 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 welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today, papakita ko na sa inyo yung pinaka-requested tutorial kung paano nyo malilimit yung Wi-Fi and internet speeds ng users connected to a PLDD Fiber router. So, uh, before mag tayo mag-start, click that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated tutorials, gameplays, and many more amazing tips on this channel. So, huwag na natin patagalin. Let's get started. So, first, uh, I'll make this tutorial as slow as possible or as comprehensible as possible para masundan ng lahat. So, uh, let's get started. Bukasan natin yung web browser natin. And uh, we'll enable the uh, Telnet feature on the PLDT router. So open up a new tab on your uh, browser. Open up your router um, login page. By default, you have a 192.168.1.1 router page. But for me, I have that three. And wag nyo na rin kalimutan forward slash fh lagi and fiber home. Buksan natin yung latest uh, credentials na meron yung PLDT Fiber. Just check the latest videos that I'm uploading on this channel so that you will uh, be able to get the updated credentials because nag-update talaga yung firmware ng PLDT. So I'm copying first the Fiber Home settings. I have a RP2646 version of my uh, router click nyo yung login and wait uh, make sure kasi marami yung kasabi it doesn't work uh, paalala lang uh, make sure that no trailing spaces yung uh, pagkakapi nyo on that page same page if you copy it like this a small part could be copied yung space and that would result to a uh, invalid username and password so paste nyo muna dito Make sure, copy nyo ulit. Tingnan nyo. Kung may space o wala. Tapat walang space dito. Tsaka nyo siya i-paste. Ito yung password. Same thing with the username. Para hindi na tayo mahirapan. Click nyo login. Under the um, debug switch. On the telnet switch. Make sure to set it one to enable. And also, pati na rin yung web admin switch because we might need it later. Log out nyo once done. Hit nyo apply button pala. Pakatapos nyan, uh, we're going to enable the Telnet uh, feature on Windows. So go to your start menu. Click the settings icon right here. Under the apps settings right here. Apps and features. Scroll it down to the bottom. You'll be able to see this um, programs and feature. Click on the Turn Windows Features on or off. Hanapin nyo dito yung Telnet Client. Check nyo lang yung simply check that one. Okay, and it will install the Telnet Client on your uh, Windows OS. Once done, um, you can close everything up. And open up, right click the Start menu. Open a command prompt as administrator. If you don't have this kind of, if you're not using Windows 10, just search for command prompt. Right click it and run it as administrator. Once you're open on this um, command prompt administrator, just type in telnet and yung IP address ng router nyo, 192.168.1.1 by default. But I have changed mine to that three, so I'll just change it to that one. For the login, just type in gpon. I'll just put the uh, login credentials for Detailnet on the description. Gpon. And once you're in this kind of user, type nyo enable. Password is gpon only. Pag nakapasok na kayo dito sa config, type nyo cd space switch. Hit enter. I'll type this. 
and then uh, type nyo next I'll just put this uh, command on the description so that you could easily copy and paste control port forward eligibility bleep hindi to uh, typo Hagang, yan talaga yun PLI instead na eligibility switch and uh, make sure to set that one to disable what this does is uh, it disables the AP isolation feature on the router so that in case na may gawin tayo mamaya madetect pati yung mga devices connected through the LAN gamit the uh, Wi-Fi or if you're connected through the Wi-Fi connection so once done you can now close this um, th command prompt you can go back to the browser and then I'll put this link on the description just simply go to the archive.com we're going to install the software on our computer so punta tayo dito sa downloads you'll be able to see the uh, netcat for android or netcat for windows for this um, tutorial we're going to set or download the netcat for windows and be sure to install that one once you're done if you're using windows 7 click nyo tong windows 7 dito if you're using windows uh, 10 or 8 click nyo tong netcat 3.0 once done ka mag, mag download install nyo lang yun follow the basic installation procedures since na install ko na eh, close ko na lang to it will ask you to reboot your computer once done installing so reboot nyo reboot nyo muna yung computer nyo once na restart nyo yung computer nyo go to your browser right here I'll put this link on the description again you simply navigate through this um, URL on your browser and you'll be taken to the archive uh, network interface click nyo tong um, refresh button and it will automatically scan all devices connected through the network click nyo yung users tab scroll down and yun makikita mo na dito lahat ng mga devices connected to the uh, network so for this um, demonstration purposes I have my phone connected right here so it's Huawei Nova 5T and uh, just simply if you want to uh, limit the speed of that particular de device simply just um, set the slider depending on whichever you'd like so uh, pag nakasagad dyan sa right meaning it's not limited to any um, speed limit but if you set that to middle it will transfer to this part right here under the policing ito yung other network users which are not um, configured ito naman yung trusted users where in hindi siya gagalawin ng netcat so as you can see yung wifi bar is limited to around half so I'll in this video I'll just put overlay an overlay of the speed test comparison between the um, the before and after limiting the um, speeds of this particular device which is my um, cell phone or mobile mobile phone So basically that's it. Once then uh, you just have to set the sliders and uh, you can also install this um, archive netcat on a Android device or on your mobile phone but you'd have to do the, the same pre procedure kanina to disable first the API isolation to make sure that everything is going to work properly. So um, that's it guys. Just a reminder please uh, be responsible naman sa paggamit itong tool na to and uh, don't abuse it and only use it uh, sa bahay nyo again wag kayo masyadong abusado sa ibang let them also use the internet connection but uh, since kayo, kayo yung may knowledge so maybe you could manage the speeds in the network so that's it guys if this video helped you don't forget to leave a like and feedback down below and subscribe na rin kayo if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet be sure to click that subscribe button 
and bell notification to get more updated tutorials, gameplays, and other tips and tricks. So till then, see you in my next video.